that's hitting what the pitcher's trying to do, uh, what does that tell you? Well, that can that can really put a, an opposing pitcher on his heels. And and when the pressure mounts, whether it's hard hit balls, whether it's uh, like you said, a pitcher executing what he's trying to do, and, and the opposing hitters are able to get to those spots that he's going and get base hits and continue to put pressure on him, that's only going to lead to success because you can't live by the long ball. You can't live by the two and three run home runs. That's just not a sustainable uh, model. In some cases it may be, but not in my opinion for this particular group. So we heard Derek Shelton in the pregame talk about how proud he was, especially yesterday, about guys just putting the ball in play. That's the most dangerous play in baseball for a hitter two strike just put it in play make the defense work and we saw a couple infield hits yesterday from connor joe one from triolo uh, but we also saw a lot of line drives we saw a lot of good swings from guys joey bart uh, looks to be swinging the bat pretty well in his early tenure as a pittsburgh pirate uh, and the only two guys did not get a hit yesterday were Keith Brian Hayes and O'Neill Cruz, which was, which was pretty incredible considering we scored seven runs and, and pounded out more than ten hits. You know, the Pirates are averaging six runs a game. There are only two teams better so far. But they're also preventing the runs, like you mentioned, with, with the pitching. And today it's Martin Perez, a lefty. They have three lefties in the rotation. None of them are, are particularly hard throwers. Uh, but by design, this ballpark seems to lend itself. Uh, the numbers prove it through the years. Uh, lefty pitchers are a little bit better in this park than righties. Yeah, and, and, and when you when you talk about the three, that's Marco Gonzalez, that was Martin Perez, and that's Bailey Falter. Um, Marco Gonzalez and Bailey Falter are more fly ball pitchers, right? They, they tend to throw, they like to throw up and in. They like to throw cutters and four seams up and in, uh, especially in this ballpark. Righties, see how far you can hit it. Now, Martin Perez, who's on the mound for his third start of the year this year, he's a little bit more of a old-school type guy. He's got a lot of downward angle, got, to, uh, got some run and sink to his fastball, good slider, little cutter, and a changeup. So he tends to get more ground balls. Now, obviously, both of those are going to play at a ballpark uh, like PNC Park. But more than anything else, if these guys continue to just get, get, get outs, get weak contact, push the envelope, keep their team in it, and the Pirates continue to score runs like they are, that's a good recipe for success. Yeah, the starting pitchers have been going deep in the ball games. Uh, Perez is six and two thirds his last time around as well. The Pirates trying to make it a ten and two start to the season, taking on the Detroit Tigers. We'll have the lineups up next on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by IC Light. The 2024 NBA postseason starts next week, and Sirius XM NBA Radio brings you all the action. Slam dunk! Our experts break down every game. This is what playoff basketball is all about. Cover every storyline. Prove me wrong. Prove the people wrong. And bring you every can't-miss moment on the court every single night. He's going to fire up a three for the win! Your 24-7 home for hoops throughout the playoffs is Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 in the car. And on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hey, baseball fans, NBA Radio is your home for the best 24-7 hoops talk. LeBron, three for the tie. It's good! Hear nonstop talk from our experts every day and the best games every night as we get you ready for the playoffs and the quest to raise the Larry O'Brien Trophy. After 47 years, the Denver Nuggets are finally NBA champions. Don't miss a moment on Sirius XM NBA Radio, Channel 86, in the car, and on the brand new Sirius XM app. This is Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum and host of the Sirius XM original podcast, Black Diamonds. Hear stories about the legends of the Negro Leagues and conversations with the all-time greats they've influenced, like five-time World Series champion Derek Jeter. I don't care what race you are. You need to know your past. This is U.S. history. It's not just baseball history. Hear over 70 episodes of the award-winning Black Diamonds podcast, available now on the SiriusXM app or wherever you get your podcasts. You love listening to baseball. You love talking about baseball, and so do we. That's why Sirius XM has the only channel on the radio dedicated to baseball 24-7. It's MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM Channel 89. News, opinions, passionate baseball talk from former players and GMs, plus interviews with players, managers, and executives, original specials, and much, much, much more. All baseball, every day, on your radio. If you can hear me right now, you've got MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM Channel 89, and on the Sirius XM app. Today's game on the Pirates Radio Network brought to you by Highmark. Proud to support Pirates everywhere from home base to home away from home because life. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. I see light refreshing flavorful and only 95 calories. It's always an easy call. I see light. Let's raise another. 
by Coppers, protecting what matters, preserving the future by Visit Erie. Summer's almost here. It's time to plan your Great Lake escape to beautiful Erie, PA. Giant Eagle, the official supermarket of the Pirates by Fatheads. Enjoy Fatheads beer at PNC Park, the Southside Saloon, and wherever you find great craft beer. PNC, brilliantly boring since 1865. Allegheny Health Network, official medical provider of the Pirates, caring for you through every win, every loss, and every moment in between. NSS Life, for low-cost life insurance and high-yielding annuities, it's NSS Life, where family matters, your neighborhood Ford store. And by the Pennsylvania Lottery, players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. We got the Pirates and the Tigers for you here this afternoon, but first, 10 seconds for a network station ID on the Pirates Radio Network. Baseball is back. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Time now for the lineups, and Neil's got those for you. Thank you, Joe. Today's lineups are brought to you by your neighborhood Ford store for A.J. Hinch and his Detroit Tigers coming in today with a 6-4 and four record. Matt Beerling is going to be playing center field and leading off. Mark Canna is going to play right field and hit second. Riley Green is going to hit third and play left field. Spencer Torkelson will play first base and, and do the cleanup duty. Gio Urshela is going to hit fifth and play third base. Colt Keith will play second base and hit sixth. Carson Kelly is going to be doing the catching today and hit seventh. Playing shortstop, Javi Baez, and he'll hit eighth. And rounding out the lineup, Jake Rogers, and he's going to do the DH work today. And on the mound, right-handed pitcher Casey Mize. And for Derek Shelton and his Pittsburgh Pirates, 9-2 and two in first place in the NL Central today. Jared Triolo will be leading off and playing second base today. Brian Reynolds will be doing the DH work and hitting second. Key Brian Hayes will hit third and play third base. Jack Sawinski will hit fourth and play left field. Edward Olivares will hit fifth and play right field. Rowdy Telez will play first base and hit sixth. Michael Taylor back in the lineup today. He's going to hit seventh and play center field. Henry Davis doing the catching work today and hit eighth. And Alika Williams hitting ninth and playing shortstop. And on the mound, left-handed pitcher Martin Perez. We'll be right back with the first pitch on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You've got questions? O'Reilly Auto Parts has answers. Need a pro you can trust? We've got that too. No matter what you need, our professional parts people have the training and expertise to help you do things right. Deep automotive knowledge. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Okay, Bucko, here's the scenario. Extra innings, bases loaded, and you're facing a knuckleballer. What's your move? Um, I, I guess I... Swing and a miss. Now it's the seventh inning stretch, and you're in the on-deck circle. The pierogi race is in full swing on the big screen. What's your favorite pierogi? Uh, cheese. Strike two. Picture this. You just hit a grand slam into the Allegheny River, but it splashes a boat full of fans. Quick, how do you make amends? Buy them their next round of Icy Light. Outstanding. On the field, dames are won and lost on tough calls. In the stands, the choice is clear. Icy Light. Easy call. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. The Pirates and PNC are going to bat for local small businesses by highlighting a different business each month. This month, the spotlight is on Los Sabrosos Dance Company, a dance and fitness studio with a large menu of dance styles available in group and private lessons for both kids and adults. They can also help celebrate birthdays, quinceañeras, weddings, and other events. From ballroom to Zumba, they have something for everyone. See their calendar and learn more at lspgh.com. We got baseball for you coming up here from PNC Park. The Pirates and the Tigers. Pirates trying to make it two game series sweep. And this copyrighted broadcast. It is presented by the authority of the Pittsburgh Pirates. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the expressed written consent of the Pirates National League Baseball Club. 
Our legal disclaimer brought to you by the law firm of Bordis and Bordis, the official legal partner of the Pirates. So the lefty, Martin Perez, getting to twirl at PNC Park for only the second time in his career. Once last year he pitched here, that was uh, the only time, uh, the uh, longtime American League pitcher. And Martin Perez, as you mentioned, this is third start of the year. He's got a 2-4-5 ERA. He's gobbled up 11 work so far. 12 hits, 5 walks, 8 Ks. And what we've come to expect from him is a lot of ground balls, a lot of sinkers, cutters, sliders, change-ups, in, out, up, down. Certainly a guy that you'll see a lot of balls put in play, especially to the left side of the infield from the right-handed hitters. So the defense is going to be on alert over there today. So the legend of Joey Wentz continues. Yesterday, if you were tuned in, Neil was aghast when I gave him a factoid about the Tigers relief pitcher, how he hit a remarkably long home run as a high schooler in a home run derby. And just moments ago on this field, there was a kid that said play ball, and his name was Joey Wentz. I missed that. Spelled exactly the same way. Wow. So that is, a, 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 you know, all the, you know, the sun and the moon, they might be aligning or something. I don't know what it is, but. That's incredible. Joey Wentz is uh, another factor today for us. Martin Perez going to face a mostly right-handed lineup for Detroit. Matt Veerling, the leadoff man, he's down a strike on a sinker over to start. 72 degrees and warming up. Hazy sunshine overhead here in Pittsburgh. Lefty ready on an 0 1. Swing and a line drive into left, and that's going to be a base hit. So Winsky races to cut it off. He does, and left handed able to twirl and get that throw on one hop right at the back of second. Nice play by Jack to keep Veerling to a single. So a leadoff hit for Detroit, and joining Sawinski in the outfield, Michael A. Taylor back in there. His first start since Friday. Edward Olivares is in right. Hayes, Williams, Triolo, and Telez. Third around the horn to first, and Henry Davis assigned the catching. So man on, nobody out for Mark Canna. Hitting a 207 righty batter. And break the ball low for ball one. Twirls the curveball from the 33 year old lefty. Canna with a couple of home runs appeared in the game yesterday as a pinch hitter and then as the DH. Now a strike. Assessed by Dan Merzell. He is the home plate umpire. Jordan Baker over at first base. Stu Sherwater umpires at second. And Mark Carlson, the crew chief, is at third. One and one on Canna. And Perez delivers. High and in for a strike at 92. One and two now. And Joe, I was just reminded by a friend of mine that I know another Joey Wentz. It's from that's from our area. You can believe that too. No way. Three. Well, something's something's going on here. How many Joe blocks do you know? Um, do I count? <laughs> the pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out on the sinker. And Mark Hanna is Perez's first strikeout victim. We well, don't think of Perez as a strikeout pitcher right there, especially throwing the sinker, but that worked. Well, yeah, the two-seam fastball used at about 43% for Martin. The changeup next, the cutter after that. Here's Riley Green. Swing at a pop foul. That should reach the seats. One of two left-handed hitters in the Tigers lineup today. The only guy that would have batted right-handed against Perez was Perez, who was on the bench for Detroit. That's Winsell Perez, who has not made a major league start yet. Long wait by the lefty. And the 0 1 home. Inside 1 and 1. Trying to use that clock to his advantage. Green at 194. He's hit three home runs. Pirates won yesterday 7 to 4 in this brief two game series. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss. Low curveball again 1 and 2. Use that a couple of times so far. And we saw what Mitch Keller was able to do with that curveball yesterday. Yeah. 
I wonder if the starters watch if they know they're going to face that team if they watch in days prior. What the hitters do here's the pitch swinging a ground ball it's going to sneak through the right side a base hit pass to Les's try. And Veerling will move all the way to third so a ground base hit to right for green puts Tigers on the corners with one out for Spencer Torkelson. Yeah, Riley Green just goes up and in to get this ball and shoots it through the four hole past Rowdy Telez. Matt Beerling, good runner. He gets a third pretty easily. Now, if you're Martin Perez, you're still going to work that sinker down and in. Maybe that cutter in the, hand, in, in the hands and that change up to try to get a ground ball to the left side here off the bat of Torkelson. Yeah, the first pitch, he comes right at him with a strike on a high fastball. Team's leader in home runs and RBIs last year. 31 homers, 93 RBIs. This year at 190 without a home run. Big tall righty batter. Here's an 0 1 pitch. Swinging a hard ground ball up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit and score the run. Well, another ground ball. Three hits for the Tigers here in the first. And like yesterday, they lead 1 0. A hard hit ball for bat of Matt Beerling for the first hit, a strikeout, and then a CNI single for Riley Green and a CNI single for Spencer Torkelson lead to the first run. Still got the double play in order here. That's certainly the approach that ball that Torkelson hit back up the middle. That's the approach you want if you're the Detroit Tigers. You don't you don't want to try to pull Martin Perez. You want to stay up the middle to the opposite field gap. First and second one out for Gio Urshela hit up the bag at third Hayes comes to get it but it's a foul ball. And he wanted to make sure he fielded that ball near the bag so he could get it out there and try to toss it across. But a foul ball. Urshela hitting at 370. Good career numbers against Perez. Right handed batter. Down a strike with two on a run in and the pitch. So we got a ground ball toward third. Hayes dives, has it from his knees to second one. Relay, two, double play. Wonderful. How did Hayes do it? Ranging far to his left, throwing accurately to second from his knees, and then the double play turned by Triolo. Wow. We'll go to the home half of the first. One nothing Tigers on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by IC Light. Ice cream and a ball game? Now that's a home run combination. Indulge in the full flavored, creamy taste of Perry's ice cream at PNC Park or find Perry's ice cream at Giant Eagle. Official ice cream of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. Can you see yourself in the seat of a tower crane, changing the city skyline, hanging off a cliff, constructing a natural gas pipeline, knocking down to make way for sustainability in our region? We are asked to weather the harshest conditions and push our powerful machines to the max. We are trained for the extreme and master skills unlike any other trade. We are the operating engineers, Local 66. Are you up for the challenge? Find your future with us at iuoe66.org. One nothing Tigers, but the Pirates get the momentum back, turning their major league leading 13th double play. Now they'll face Casey Mize, pitching for just the second time since undergoing Tommy John surgery in the 22 season. And for Mize, this is the second game of the year. He's got a 6-2-3 RA and four and a third. Jared Triolo grounds it right to second. Colt Keith up with it and on to first one pitch, one out for Mize. 
make that four and two thirds <laughs> with five hits, two walks, and four strikeouts. 26 years old out of Springville, Alabama. Pitched at Auburn. He was the top pick in the country back in 2018. Tommy John and back surgery, keeping him out of competition last year. Reynolds takes a strike. He hit career home run number 100 yesterday. 25th Pirate ever to hit 100 home runs as a bucko. Here's an 0 1 to him. And it's outside. One ball, one strike. Hitting at 250 with those uh, two home runs now. Pitch from Mize in tight on a fastball missing. Two balls and a strike. Reynolds, uh, his 23rd as a right handed batter yesterday. Here's the 2 1. Grounded on to first on the backhand. Torkelson gets to Mize covering, almost threw it behind him, but close enough, and they get the out two gone. One nothing Detroit. Here's Key Brian Hayes. Casey Mize, uh, whenever you're the first pick, of course you're a big time prospect, but it's all you heard about for several years. When would he debut? And he did pitch a little bit before the injury set in, but maybe came up a little before he was ready in 2020. Down low and away, ball one. And all things we're, we're hearing, I don't think we saw him in spring training, is that his, the velocity is, is, is pretty much back and the arsenal is pretty much back, so we'll be interested to see what kind of workload they have for him as Key fouls this off behind home plate. At 96. Got a couple good arms between Olsen, young arms between Olsen yesterday and Casey Mize today. This young Detroit team has some some very talented players. Yeah, Olsen looked really good. And then it, it's funny to say, though, he gave up six runs all earned. 1-1 one, one is fouled away, but now 1-2 on Hayes. But uh, that's how well the Pirates are hitting right now. It really doesn't matter who's up there pitching. Pirates coming in third most or tied for the third most runs per game. The pitch down low and away two and two. And they're in the top ten at limiting runs per game. And that equals a very good run differential. They're fourth. Coming in at nine and two tied with the Yankees for the best record. Two two pitch. Hayes takes low and away. Works the count full three and two. It's little things like that being behind in the count now favoring Hayes. Pirates have routinely done that. 3 2 from the righty. Swing and a foul again. 97 up and away. Now he's thrown maybe 95 or so before he succumbed to injury, and that's plenty fine, but uh, he's dialed it up even more. Three two again swinging a ground ball fair right up the first baseline stopping in front of Canna and that will hold Hayes to a two out single good at bat for key Brian Hayes very good about bat by key right there ran into some bad luck in last night's game a couple hard hit balls that got run down this one a fastball right on the outer half that he just shoots to the right field like we've been so accustomed to seeing from key Brian with two strikes take what he gives you shoot at the right field foul it off if it's a good pitch and in this case just misses this ball kicking off the wall and being a double. It's Jack Sawinski swinging a hard ground ball and one hop to second. Keith gloves and lobs on to first for the final out. Pirates get a hit, strand a man. We're through an inning from PNC Park on this Tuesday afternoon. It's the Tigers one and the Pirates nothing on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Hey, Pirates fans, Fat Heads is excited to once again be an official team partner and satisfy your thirst for great craft beer at PNC Park. Look for Headhunter IPA and Bumbleberry Honey Blueberry Ale throughout the stadium on draft and in 19-ounce cans and many other of your favorite Fat Heads brews at our bar behind the bullpens in left center. Try our newest year-round beer made just for our hometown fans, Yinzer Lager, there 
there and at select other locations. And make sure to stop by Fathead Southside Saloon before, during, and after the game for a Hedwich, smoked wings, and all your favorite Fathead's beers. Fatheads.com. Play ball, Pirates fans, all season long. Stop by Hampton Beer Outlet to pick up your 30 packs of Iron City and Icy Light cans for just $21.99 plus tax. Pittsburgh Brewing, official local beer partner of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Dear team, thanks for showing up for me with the best face paint and taunting the other team in the kindest way. For standing on your seat when I need the support and screaming until your throat hurts because you know it makes a difference. For wearing my number. For being the best teammates a player could ask for. At Highmark, we're proud to be cheering alongside the best teammates. Fans like you. Because life. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Official health plan of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Every year, for every Pirates pitcher strikeout, Coppers donates $50 to a full lineup of local charities. But do you ever wonder who Coppers is? Take a look outside. See that utility pole? How does it keep power running season after season, year after year, and still stand strong? Well, that's what we do at Coppers. Our wood preservation technologies keep all kinds of wood, like utility poles, railroad cross ties, and even your backyard deck, performing its best this season and for years to come. That's Coppers, protecting what matters, preserving the future. We got the second inning for you. It's brought to you by Malone Flower Shop. Leave the arrangements to us. One nothing Tigers. Colt Keith to bat for Detroit. Left on left, and he's down a strike. Not a high curveball from Martin Perez. Gave up three singles in the first. Got an inning ending double play ball. A lot of balls on the ground. A one in tight. And now one and one on Keith. The rookie hitting at 250 with three RBIs. Hayes will move a little bit to his left. Here's the 1 1. So we got a bouncer up first along the line for Telez, who gloves and tags the bag for the out. One away. Now Carson Kelly. Now oh, that's six batters and four ground balls for Martin Perez. Seems as though he's doing. What he wants to with that fastball at the bottom of the zone. A couple seeing eye singles to score a run in the first, but nice bounce bat right there for the first out here in the second. And it's high and away, ball one. Well, the old adage, right? It's, it's hard to get three hits in an inning, so you'll take those ground balls. Tigers end up getting that, but still, just a single tally in the first inning. Swing and a miss. One of that curveball a lot today, one and one. Kelly at 286 with the home run. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Changed up on him, and it's one and two. Kelly originally with the Cardinals, then went to Arizona in the Paul Goldschmidt deal. Bounced around a little bit and has settled in, in Detroit. Played with the Tigers at the tail end of last year. Here's a one-two. Swing and a ground ball right to short. And two hops, Alika Williams out there today. Flip it on the first. Two men gone. Another ground ball. Now, and, and, I, and I remember facing Martin Perez uh, as a player. And the one thing that struck me was just it seemed like his, you know, there would be guys that threw sinkers and two-seamers, but it seemed like there were, there were a handful of guys that the ball continued to really take off as it got closer to home plate, and he was one of those guys. So it's no surprise. Uh, as he throws a change up here for a strike on the outer half. It's no surprise that regardless of how hard he's throwing, he's able to get ground balls because he has what they consider late late movement and late life to his ball. There's a strike, nothing at two. I would, I would think the science of it, when, when you begin to recognize where the ball is going to be, it, it changes even later than that. Is, yeah. that, is that kind of... Yeah. Two strikes on Javier Baez with two outs and nobody on. And the pitch up high, one and two. One nothing Detroit here in the second. Mark Melanson would always say that about his cutter. He said, you know, that yep. it, it, to the hitter, they can't perceive that last 30 feet or whatever it is. And then that's when his pitch would move. Here's the one two, swinging a ball tapped foul. And so on the other end, the, the hitter thinking the ball is going to be at a certain spot. And if it keeps sinking, you're going to hit on the top of the baseball, right. I would think, right? And that oh, yeah. beats it into the earth. Point in today's day and age, too, there's 
it's it's kind of the exact opposite of probably what 80 percent of the pitchers are doing everybody's you know running four seamers up there as hard as they can and throwing curveballs and yeah, there's a curveball right there a swing and a miss Javier Baez down on strike so one two three inning for Martin Perez and the Pirates come to bat in the bottom of the second they trail one nothing on the Pirates radio network presented by IC light A giant thank you to the entire Octane community for keeping rock alive. Turn up New Hard Rock. Turn up Octane. Channel 37 and on the Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track. Sunday. 2.30 p.m. Eastern. It's the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. From Texas Motor Speedway. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car. And on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM, XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you. Wherever you are. With the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. The Masters is on Sirius XM. Has pace, working up to the hole, needs to turn. It turned all right. It turned right into the cup for John Rahm. That's a birdie. Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Hear every incredible shot in all the dramatic moments as the best golfers in the world vie for the coveted green jacket. Everyone at Amen Corner stands and appreciates the great Tiger Woods. Hear the Masters exclusively on Sirius XM, on Masters Radio, Channel 92 in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play right now on channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app Pirates fans this is Paul Skeens and you're listening to Pirates Baseball on Sirius XM you know it's great pup night and there's going to be a pup night up on the rooftop on Tuesday April 23rd when the Pirates host the Brewers at 640 get your tickets pirates.com slash pups Olivares gives it a ride out to deep left field toward the wall. Gone. Home run. Edward Olivares, first pitch of the second, a line drive home run to left. Boy, he really lets it fly. The Pirates tie the game at one. Well, he was ready to hit from the first pitch here, Joe. This is a fastball actually underneath the zone, probably not even a strike, and Olivares goes down and yanks it on the barrel, sneaks it over that left field wall for a solo shot. Oh, he's so patient in those at bats over the weekend with the bases loaded. Here leading off an inning. And he's able to let loose. Home run number two for Olivares. A Bowser blast. And now Rowdy Telez. And that is inside ball one. Now he can really hit. Great pickup for the Pirates from the Royals in the offseason. Pitch, strike. They had one and one on Rowdy. Yeah, Olivares hit 300, had a couple of home runs. Pitch, misses in. And it's two and one on Telez. The distance on the home run, 395 feet. Two one inside, three and one. That home run flight path brought to you by. Pittsburgh International Airport flying nonstop to Iceland starting May 16th. 1 1 game. 3 1 to Rowdy. Swing and a miss. Cutter or a slider moving down and in on him. 3 and 2. Oh, you're sitting dead red heater right there. Joey chases this slider way in off the plate, trying to beat it to the spot. Now he takes a little time out, trying to gather himself. Rowdy's been a good. Two strike hitters so far this year, hitting 318 after two strikes. Full count, Casey Mize comes home, swinging a ground ball up first. And Torkelson will take it to the bag for the first out, and will take 10 seconds for a station ID on the Pirates radio network. Baseball is back. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. And thanks to all of our affiliates. Hit the, the like button. Baseball, including Come WBAR, on, hit the like button. 40 in Morgantown. 
There's Michael A. Taylor. And he looks at a strike. First start since opening day back on Friday. Just fell out of the uh, qualifiers for the batting average lead. And could not hold up on a slider two strikes. He was leading baseball in batting average entering play yesterday. Getting a 429. Six RBIs. Got in as a defensive replacement for an inning yesterday. 1-1 one, one after the Olivares home run. One out, nobody on. 0-2 oh, from Casey Mize. Down low and away. On a curveball missing. One ball and two strikes. Taylor had not been playing. Derek Shelton wanted to make sure that got some rest after aggressively using him down low and away, two and two. Remember, he joined the club, signed with him about halfway through spring training. Thinking about the long haul. Here's a two-two, swinging a ground ball towards short. Baez ranges gloves and throws him out. Two gone and almost popped out of Baez's glove. Snow cone, as you say, when you see part of the ball at the end of the glove there. We've seen a couple of those in the early going of the season, haven't we? A couple balls that popped out of O'Neill Cruz's glove. I guess if you're in Louisiana, it'd be a snowball. That's what they call it. <laughs> a snowball. Here is Henry Davis. And it's a little bit up for ball one. Henry had a sack fly in his last start, hitless in his last 15. 133, two RBIs. Myers comes home, down low and away. Curveball missing, two balls and nothing on Henry. Tied up on the Olivares home run. We're in the second, run a piece, swing and a miss. 98 from Casey Myers, two and one. Well, that fastball velocity keeps ticking up. Joe, the first inning was mostly 96. Now, we're second inning here, we've seen a couple 97s and 98s. Pair of number one overall picks facing one another. 98 again. Three and one. And the man over at first base in that same boat, Torkelson. That's right. Tigers had the number one pick two out of three years, just like the Pirates did. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. 98 right on the outer edge. Three and two. As they go back to the heat. The pitch down low and away. Ball four. He missed. Threw him a fastball at 97, but well out of the zone away. And Davis works a two out walk, setting up Alika Williams. Alika in there today. He's three out of 11. Oh, he's hit the ball a couple of times pretty hard. Did not see that at the end of last year when he came up. There's a strike. But some of it to, to explain that. He's only had about 500 plate appearances above A ball in his career. Right side open for him. Here's an 0 1. Swing and a foul. Tardy made up his mind late on that slider out over two strikes. Williams will take time. Henry Davis on it first, a run in on the Olivares home run. Tied at one, Pirates batting in the second. Casey Mize ready. There's an 0-2, and that's outside. First fastball that Williams sees, one ball and two strikes. Mize on a 1-2. Williams hits it high in the air to right. The routine for Canna. They don't make the catch to end the inning. Pirates 
Get a line drive home run by Edward Olivares. And we'll go to the third from PNC Park. It's the Pirates one and the Tigers one on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Tri-State Office Furniture offers great pricing, great selections, and great service. It's really a one-stop shop if you're looking to furnish maybe your office, your business, heck, even your house. I'm a big trust guy, and I trust owner Ed Meyer and team for any and all furniture needs. Right now, Tri-State Warehouses are full of new and name-brand pre-owned office furniture. Visit them online at tristateofficefurniture.com or give them a call at 1-855-885-DES. That's 1-855-885-DES. Tri-State Office Furniture, the best in the business. Hey, Pirates fans, have you checked out the Pirates' Great Taste Ticket presented by Miller Lite? This exclusive $19 ticket includes early access to PNC Park and loaded value. That means your first drink of the night is on us. Get your ticket at Pirates.com slash Great Taste. At AHN, we see you at your healthiest, rocking out while you work out, and tuning into Soft Rock as you rest up from the flu. We see you reliving the good old days with throwbacks. And replaying that shark song for your kids again and again. We see you blasting ballads to get you through. And searching for an AHN doctor as you listen to the next song. Visit AHN.org to get started. My ride smells just right, just right. Just right, just right, just right. I gotta try just that Fabrice right, car. Just right, just right, just right. Yeah. La 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With us, 40 days of consistency. All over Fabrice car clips right on your bed. You know my car's my happy place. Keep that smile on my face. When it smells just right, just right, just right. Yeah. Breathe happy Fabrice. La 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 la. The third inning brought to you by Tri-State Office Furniture, the best in the business. Pirates tie the game at one. Jake Rogers leads it off. Martin Perez, the Pirates lefty, delivers down and away for ball one. Verling and Cannon to follow the 9-1-2 and two hitters for Detroit. There's a 1-0 and a swing and a foul tip. That sinker was 90 out over the plate. One ball and one strike. Rogers hit 20 plus home runs last year. Here's the pitch. Check swing foul at the plate. One and two. Changed up on him. A small barge makes her way toward the point. River traffic starting back up again. Here's a one two swing and a foul. Seeing that the bridge. Traffic again with the Calente Bridge opening up over the winter. I've been waiting a while for it, Joe. It's a beautiful setting. Yeah, this week, baseball back in the bird. It's been great. Here's the one two swing and a miss. He struck him out down and in. Three strikeouts for Perez, and the leadoff man retired here in the third. Back to the top for Matt Vierling. Perez settling in now. Fairling with a base hit, scored a run back in the first. Shows bunt, pulls in and takes in for ball one. Hayes had been playing in near the bag at third. He'll still play behind it. Here's a 1 0 and a strike. No sign of a bunt that time. Just took that sinker over the outer edge. One ball and one strike on Veerling. Former Philly, standout pitcher at Notre Dame. Here's the 1 1. And that's low, 2 and 1. Much like Pirates prospect Jack Brannigan. That's correct, yeah. Matt Veerling, this seven at bats coming into today against. Martin Perez 0 for 7 after that before that first hit the first thing I should say is he fouls this one off down the right field line. And Brannigan starting the year at Greensboro where he ended last season already a 5 for 9 with a home run. 4 for 9. I'm exaggerating only 444 so far. Here's a 2-2 coming. 
Swinging another foul. This times that elevated sinker. Now that's great insight, Neil. You were in the box against Perez, and we see these guys a lot of times. There's a fastball out over the plate. They don't square it up. Yeah, it's just like that. The fastball just. Oh, that's a nice little quick pitch right there from Martin Perez. The front door sinker, the Veerling. But the bottom just kind of feels like it drops out sometimes. And then the ones at the top of the zone, they don't necessarily sink. They're kind of a little more flat. And, it, you know, as a hitter, your brain doesn't really calibrate all that well. And unless, of course, you have a lot of at-bats against the guy or you're seeing him somewhat regularly, it can be difficult. Another strike, this time right over the outer edge with a curveball. Mark Canna struck out his only time. Four Ks already. For Perez, a 1-1 game in the third. The pitch is up high. Fastball missing one ball and one strike. And kind of the one guy that has had a bulk of amount of at-bats against Martin Perez. 18 coming into today's game before the strikeout in the first inning. 1-1. High and away. 2-1. He was 8 for 18 coming into this game, so... I guess he would have faced him quite a bit when he was in when Kana was in Oakland and Perez was probably in Texas if I had to guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Here's a 2-1 and a strike. Back to the curveball. Throwing it way more often than he typically does. It's worked well for him today. Three call strikes and three swings and misses on the curve. Two balls and two strikes with two outs. Perez ready and the pitch in tight. Missing with a fastball three and two up to 93 on that one. A run apiece. Tigers batting in the third. And the payoff coming from Perez. Swinging a fly ball to left. To his left. Swinski is there to make the final out. Tigers go down in order. Perez has retired seven in a row. And the Pirates come to bat in the bottom of the third. It's the Pirates one and the Tigers one on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Sirius XM's 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show. Experts from NFL Radio, College Sports Radio, and Fantasy Sports Radio analyze the top prospects in the NFL Draft, covering each player's time in college and how they'll transition to the National Football League. Roma Touchdown, Washington! The Sirius XM Sports 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show, tomorrow night at 7 Eastern on College Sports Radio Channel 84 and NFL Radio Channel 88. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. Let's go! We're back on the track Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Eastern. It's the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 from Texas Motor Speedway on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90 in the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah! Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Masters Radio returns Monday, April 8th on Channel 92 in the car and on the Sirius XM app. Check out the Bucks Flex Plan. You can purchase 10 or 20 ticket vouchers that you can use however and whenever you want. Jared Triolo starts off ball one. Those vouchers can be redeemed in advance to lock in your seats or you can wait until game day. The Bucks flex plan. Learn more about it. Pirates.com slash flex. Strike in there now one and one. Triolo in the leadoff spot today. Bounced out his only time facing Casey Mize. 
And that was hit hard on a hop. Diving stop. Baez from his knees throws on the first to get him. Well, he hasn't hit a lot in Detroit, but he can still play an exemplary shortstop, Javier Baez. Holy moly, Joe. This is a one hopper that Javier Baez goes to his left up the middle and full extension lays out, gets to, throws from his knees, almost gets it all the way. Just how oh, he does get it all the way. I thought it was in the dirt. What a terrific play. Stealing Jared Triolo of a hit. That's a big league play. And that stole a hit. Yep. Brian Reynolds taps it up first and foul. He's down to strike. When that ball left Triolo's bat, it was coming off at almost 104. Now retires the leadoff man. A run of peace with the Pirates batting in the third. Grounded foul again up first. Out in front of that curveball. So fastball curveball. Both grounded foul up first base way. And now two strikes on Reynolds. He grounded out to first is the only time. Now take up. 97 from Casey Mize. One and two. Mize threw a no hitter in the minor leagues when he pitched for Erie under manager Mike Ribello. Up high two and two. Pirates third base coach now. He's standing looking right at him. Got his hands on his hips. Looking right at Mize. The pitch. Swing and a liner over first and into the right field corner. Canna was playing way off the line. He just now fields. That's an easy double for Brian Reynolds here with one out in the third. Nice at bat there for B Ray. Get him back to a 2 2 count. Goes down and gets this split. Pulls it just over Spencer Tokelson's head at first base, making its way all the way down to the right field. Clemente Wall. Now, Canna had to be 110 feet off the line. Made it a sure bet double. And any juggle or anything could have been more. Here's Hayes. Swinging a hard ground ball through. Base hit. Reynolds will be waved around third. Veerling up with it. The toss comes in to the shortstop. It's an RBI single for Key Brian Hayes. And the Pirates grab their first lead. It's 2-1. to one. Little two-out magic by the two-hole and three-hole hitters for the Pirates. Reynolds and Hayes, as we mentioned. One out. I'm sorry, Joe. Really nice piece of hitting right there, right back up the box for Key Bryan. And so two for two day. Two to one Pirates lead. Here's Sowinski. Had a strike. Jack bounced out. The only time. Neil, I got a quiz for you. Go ahead. Who has the lowest whiff percentage on the Pirates, meaning when he swings a bat, does he swing and miss, or does he make some contact? That's fouled, and now two strikes. And that includes foul balls? Yeah. If, if you swing and miss, that's a whiff. If you foul it, if you put it in play, that's not a whiff. I'd, I'd say it's probably... Now, why am I asking you right now? Well, one would maybe not guess it was Jack Zielinski. I would bet Connor Joe, but... That's what I would think. I would think Connor Joe, maybe even... That's down at in one and two, but it is Jack Sawinski right now. That's that's how much he's cut down the swing and miss at this point of this season. Almost half of what it was last year. Well, and I think that, that was somewhat of the conversation through his first full season of, of baseball was that when he was making contact, it was it was damage that was being done. As this one's popped up the left field, easy play for Riley Green. And he'll make the catch for the second out. And you were talking about yesterday, you, know, you, you feel like Jack, now he's going to start getting some regular yep. starts here. He's about to bust out, but th that's got to be the key, right? Just, just that, that more regular contact for him. Yeah, absolutely. And, and sometimes when when you try to cut back on some of the bigger swings, you get a little passive. And when you get passive, you tend to foul a lot of balls off and be late. Um, so you, you're seeing kind of the evolution of what we know Jack can be as Edward Olivares takes a slider off the plate for a ball. And it's not necessarily being passive, but being aggressive in, in, in certain spots.
shots and not trying to maybe yank the ball quite as much. And that's what we're seeing from Jack. Here's a 1 0 to Olivares. He homered on a line his first time up, and there's a strike. 2 to 1, Pirates lead here in the third. The Pirates have great collection of players. Many are coming into their own here in April. Here's a 1 1. Olivares, a wave and a miss. There's the split finger pitch from Mize. We haven't seen that much. One and two. Especially the righties. You'd, you'd, you'd assume that he's going to throw a handful of those to the lefties as he did with Brian Reynolds. Good key. He doesn't have stolen bases here. Let's see if he goes after one. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Foul up to the third base side. Another split finger. Well, the Pirates have been pretty conservative running the bases. Uh, four for four in steals. Oh, especially when you consider how they were winning ball games at the beginning of last year, right? I mean, it was <laughs> they were running like their hair was on fire. But they're definitely being a little more passive this year as, a, as that in that regards as Oliveras fouls this one off in a one with one two count. That was lumber and lightning last April. It really was. Some home run balls, a lot of steals. One and two on Olivares. Pirates are taking the lead two to one here in the third. Here's the pitch home down low and away big slider two balls and two strikes. Casey Mize at 54 pitches here in the third. Through 87 in that first start that was in New York against the Mets. Went four and a third. Here's the pitch bounced on to third. Collected by Urshela, he'll go the short route to second to get the force to end the third. Pirates add another run. Key Brian Hayes and RBI single scoring Reynolds. To the fourth we go from PNC Park. Pirates two, Tigers one on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by IC Light. We're back, fans. The Pirates have already put together some pretty impressive wins this year and are hoping to keep pushing it. But there's another fan favorite in town that also knows a thing or two about winning. Ford F-Series, the best-selling trucks in Pittsburgh and in America for 47 years straight. Being tough, capable, and having the smarts, F-Series is tough to beat. F-150, the official truck of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And it looks like it's out of here. Ball or strike? Fair or foul? Bring the heat or change it up? And who have you got for the pierogi race? Pirates baseball is full of tough calls, but the beer to enjoy while root, root, rooting is never one of them. Icy Life, easy call. Great hitting, pitching, base running, and fielding are the ingredients of a winning team. For every other ingredient, Pirates fans trust Giant Eagle Market District and get them. They know their neighborhood grocery store is loaded with fresh, quality food and everyday value. Plus, with convenient curbside pickup and home delivery, high-quality products from our family of brands, and epic My Perks rewards, Giant Eagle Market District and get them give Pirates fans more ways to score every time they shop. Bring savings home with Giant Eagle, the official supermarket of the Pittsburgh Pirates. As the official bank of the Pirates, PNC Bank knows that baseball is thrilling, but even the less thrilling moments deserve our applause. Like that fan in the left field bleachers who refuses to do the wave. She came to see professional athletes, which makes this ballpark a place of business. So while everyone else is spilling drinks on their neighbors mid-action, she keeps her eye on the ball. A sound strategy for baseball and banking. PNC Bank, brilliantly boring since 1865. PNC Bank National Association, member FDIC. Fourth inning coming up, and the Pirates now lead 2-1 to one over Detroit. Check out the Pirates Family Pack. Starts at just $64 for two tickets, and each ticket includes all you can eat. Hot dogs, nachos, peanuts, popcorn, pop, and water, all for you and your family. Learn more at Pirates.com slash Family Pack. First pitch strike to Riley Green. Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit lefty the like button the lefty and subscribe too. The Join the family. He is 0-1 in tight, and it's a ball and a strike. Tigers, three out of the first four hitters with singles against Perez. They minted a run. Then Hayes started a magnificent double play ball, and uh, since then, nothing. Here's a 1-1. The ball looped back of third. Hayes gives chase into foul ground. It'll fall untouched near the tarp. And it's one and two on Riley Green. The 
He was the fifth overall pick in 2019. So Mize went first overall to the Tigers in 18. Torkelson first overall in 20, and then Green in between. That was their first rounder. One, two. Down and in. It's two balls and two strikes with the fastball missing. There's a high school draft out of the Orlando area. Here's a 2 2. Swing and a busted bat roller onto short. Williams collects two handed and flips it on to first for the out. Green is gone. Torkelson coming up. Williams is an old teammate at Arizona State. Torkelson owns a record, Sun Devils record, for freshman home runs. He hit more home runs as a freshman than any other ASU freshman. Here's the pitch, and there's a strike. The uh, previous record holder, his name was uh, Barry Bonds. Yeah, I thought that's what you were going to say. Did, now, who had more career home runs between the two of them? At ASU? ASU? I would bet it was Torque. Let's, let's look that up. There's a strike, nothing to do. And if you can own a home run record over Barry Bonds, uh, you're doing something right. And uh, that's why Torkelson went first in the country hit 54 home runs and and now his junior year his final year at arizona state was in 2020 so he only played about a dozen games before the pandemic shut down the season bouncer onto his old teammate williams gloves gets it across two men out let's take a look at bonds if they still let's see if they have that ah they don't have that handy let's see got me doing some work over here Gio Urshela. A couple of ground ball outs for Perez. Just moving right along. Bonds hit 45 at ASU. Wow. So even though Torque had a truncated 20 season, that's down low for ball one. He hit more than Bonds in college. In the majors, Bonds is ahead. By a little bit, right? Yeah. Just a few. Ground, uh, excuse me, line drive into right field for base hit. So Urshela has the uh, first Tigers base runner since the first on a two-out single to right. And now Colt Keith. Uh, Urshela does a nice job of staying inside this ball after hitting into the double play to end the first inning on a 5-4-3. And less two outs. Left on left, Keith grounds it hard. Snared by Telez, and he'll crawl to the bag and get the out. That was a really good play. That was smashed on a hop up first, and Telez went across his body to glove that ball and Terrific get play. Yeah, That probably would have been a run, Joe. Ah, with two outs, yes. Yep. Urshela took off as he should. And Telez saves the day. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It remains 2-1 to one Pirates on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by Icy Light. Hear the Masters exclusively on Sirius XM. Hi, this is Mike Tirico, and there's nothing like the Masters. Rory McIlroy, he's thinking Grand Slam. The beauty of the Azaleas, the passion of the Patriots, and the best golfers in the world vying for a green jacket. They turn right into the cup for John Rahm. It all makes for one of the most iconic weekends in sports. Join me for live coverage of the Masters starting Thursday at 2 Eastern on Masters Radio Channel 92, in the car, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The Women's NCAA Tournament is on Sirius XM. It is going to be fun. It is going to be interesting. For the best guests. Don Staley. I just want us to be who we've been. And coverage of March Madness. Tune in to Sirius XM SEC Radio. From the biggest stars. The Reese put back is good. Nobody wants any part. No part of it. Of Angel Reese right now. To the top teams. We've got you covered through the National Championship in Cleveland. It's all on Sirius XM SEC Radio. Channel 374. And the all-new Sirius 7365. Coverage of all all things NASCAR. All things NASCAR happens exclusively on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In season or out of season, the number one place for college sports is Sirius XM College Sports Radio Channel 84. Roddy Telez takes ball one, made that fine play to end the top half of the fourth. Pirates are leading two to one. Casey Mize back to work in the pitch. There's a strike. A sinking fastball over. It's one and one. 
to Telez, who bounced out his only trip. Taylor Davis, the next two. Here's the 1 1. Inside missing 2 and 1. Fastball at 97 from Mize. Pirates have at least one hit in every inning so far. 2 1 from the righty. Telez fouls it. A high splitter, two balls and two strikes. Let's pause 10 for a station break on the Pirates Radio Network. Baseball is back. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all new Sirius XM app. Joe O'Neill with you on a Tuesday afternoon here for PNC Park. Pirates lead it 2 to 1. Batting here in the fourth. Two balls and two strikes on Rowdy Telez. Lefty batter, toss stance. Kelly sets up on the outer third in the pitch. Right there, but fouled back. Painted that fastball at 96. Last time Casey Mize won a game was August of 2021. 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss, struck about on a splitter. That's the first strikeout for Casey Mize. So, yeah, the Pirates are putting the ball in play. The same recipe for success from yesterday. Joe just grinding out some of bats, staying in the zone, putting the ball in play. It's led to two runs through three innings so far. Here's Michael A. Taylor. Check swing foul to the screen. Grounded out to short is only time. Let's hope that uh, weekend layoff doesn't slow his bat down any. Pitch. And down low, one ball and one strike. Came into today's action hitting at 429. Wind moving from right to left. Starching the flags out there right now. Here's the pitch. Check swing foul again. That splitter stayed up and in, and it's one and two. Starting to get that pitch up this inning. Mize. Taylor will take timeout. Don't miss the first Miller Lite happy hour, Friday, April 19th. The Red Sox are in town. Pre-game until first pitch every Friday in the Miller Lite landing bar. Get your tickets at Pirates.com. Fouled away again. That time on a slider down and away. Pirates getting a line drive home run from Olivares. And then a one out RBI single by Key Brian Hayes. Leading two to one. Here's a one two. Swing and a foul. Keeps staying in on Taylor. With that splitter. Got a swing and a roller on to second base. Keith has it and then on to first for the second out. So Taylor retired on a bounce out. Two men gone and Henry Davis. A walk is only time he's coming up. His walk is the, the only one of the game for either team. Mize ready in the pitch. That's outside for ball one. Third baseman Urshela playing the line, playing back. Ready batter, no batting gloves, the pitch. Swinging a ball, yanked foul, way out in front of that splitter. And now one and one on Henry Davis. Yeah, a little slow start to the season for Henry Davis. She'd love to see him find a couple barrels and get going. A nice walk in that first inning. High and away, two and one. Well, you know it's in there. We saw him in Anaheim last year become the first player to homer twice in the same game against Shohei Otani. He swings and yanks one foul. Way out in front of that splitter again. Everything this year 
has been pull for Henry talking with him before the game says he wants to try to iron that out a little bit use all fields. He's working on it. Here's the 2 2 outside 3 and 2. Yeah, so many times you see a player doing something you go oh, what's he doing. He's not trying to do that most of the, most of the time. And it usually falls back to your timing and rhythm and, and sometimes you're way out front sometimes you're late. Swing and a foul tip struck him out on that high and away fastball. Mize has two strikeouts in the inning his first one two three inning. We go on to the fifth from PNC Park Pirates two Tigers one on the Pirates radio network presented by IC light. Timmy everybody great job. Next up we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge Motor Oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on Sequence 3 H test versus API SP test limits. Dear team, thanks for showing up for me with the best face paint and taunting the other team in the kindest way. For standing on your seat when I need the support and screaming until your throat hurts because you know it makes a difference. For wearing my number. For being the best teammates a player could ask for. At Highmark, we're proud to be cheering alongside the best teammates. Fans like you. Because life. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Official health plan of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Ice cream and a ball game? Now that's a home run combination. Indulge in a full-flavored, creamy taste of Perry's ice cream at PNC Park or find Perry's ice cream at Giant Eagle. Official ice cream of the Pittsburgh Pirates. SeatGeek is the official ticket marketplace of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So whether you're buying or selling tickets to the Pittsburgh Pirates games, SeatGeek is the number one destination for all of your ticketing needs. But that's not all. If you're looking to score tickets to other events at PNC Park or events across your local area, SeatGeek is the place to do it. From baseball to ballet, hockey to country, find it all on SeatGeek, the official ticket marketplace of the Pittsburgh Pirates. SeatGeek, your ticket to great pirate seats. Fifth inning coming up. Detroit coming to bat. Pirates are leading two to one. Martin Perez to work to the bottom of the order. Carson Kelly starts it. And he's down a strike. Our fifth inning brought to you by local union number five of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Nothing and one on Kelly who grounded out his early time. Strike two. Right there again on the inner edge. Some really good command today from Perez. Keeping the ball down and on the edges. Lefty back at it on a no two. Down and in. Tried to cut her that time, one and two. A little bit different action. Looks like it's going to be in the same spot and then it moves late. Here's a one two. Right there, strike three call back to the fastball, and Kelly just sat there with the bat on his shoulder, one out. And Kelly didn't like it. Yeah, and that was a terrific front door sinker he just threw right there. It was borderline. Casey didn't like it. I thought it was a really good pitch. Hit Henry Davis right where he was set up. That shows you how late it moves. Kelly, a catcher, thought it was in. Baez. Takes that pitch. I may have gotten that inner edge. It's called a ball to Baez, who struck out swinging in the second. Two to one, Pirates lead. And there's a strike. Came back with a curveball. Even the count, one and one. Baez waiting on the pitch. Swinging a ground ball to short on the backhand. Williams took a funny hop. He gloves. One hop throw. Got him. Good play by Alika Williams at short. Really nice play there, Joe. He's in the outfield. Ranging to his right. Baez, at least an average runner. He gets this, kind of falls to his knees, and gets up real quickly. One hop to Rowdy Telez for the out. He can play some shortstop, can he? Sure can. Now Jake Rogers with two outs and nobody on. A pie ball one. That left side of the diamond 
Really, uh, well, actually, the right side too, because I don't want to diminish Rowdy on that fine play at the end of the, end of the fourth. But let's say all around, uh, Perez has gotten some good glove work in his infield. Strike, curveball floating in there, one and one, on Rogers. Two to one, the Pirates on top. Tigers fifth, and the pitch. Strike again. That curveball's been a dandy today. One and two. Ahead, one and two on Rogers. Perez delivers. Swing and a foul. Rogers struck out in third. Five strikeouts for Perez. He had six in that last start. Time and it was a pitch timer violation on Perez. It's two and two. That adds a ball to the count of Rogers. Here's the 2 2 now. Outside. Well, that changes a lot. You miss on that 2 2 pitch. Now it's a full count all of a sudden. Try to cut her back door and it stayed big. 3 and 2. And the pitch home. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Went back to the curve. And Perez, a 1 2 3 fifth inning. Pirates coming to bat in the bottom half. They lead 2 to 1 on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by IC Light. This is PGA Tour Pro Smiley Kaufman, and I'm happy to announce that you can now hear me on Sports Grid Radio. Just in time for the Masters, I'm bringing my show, The Smiley Show, to Channel 159, where I'll catch up with other golfers, athletes, and celebrities. Join me tomorrow for the Sports Grid debut of The Smiley Show, where I'll preview the Masters like only I can at 1 p.m. in the East on Sports Grid Radio. Channel 159 in your car and on the all-new SiriusXM app. Are you regretting eating that gas station hot dog? Yeah, we know. We've been there too. This is a message for baseball fans like you. Did you know that you get a channel that's talking baseball 24-7 as part of your Sirius XM subscription? What? Our lineup includes shows hosted by former big leaguers and executives. Plus, you'll hear from 17 managers each week. MLB Network Radio is on Sirius XM Channel 89. Or just search MLB Network Radio on the SXM app. Sirius XM Sports. We're more than just a game. They were heroes, champions for the people. Black Diamonds, stories of Negro League baseball. This is not your ordinary catcher. This is the legendary Josh Gibson. A new Sirius XM podcast hosted by Negro League's baseball museum president, Bob Kendrick. He had the eyes of Ted Williams, the power of Babe Ruth. A new story drops every Thursday. In the words of the immortal Sasha Page, if a man can beat you, you walk him. <laughs> Black Diamonds, available now on the Sirius XM app. Hey, baseball fans, the best 24-7 hoops talk lives on NBA radio as we get you ready for the stretch run of the season only on Channel 86 and on the brand new Sirius XM app. Tune to Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 all year long, all year long to hear expert opinions and analysis from former players, coaches, and executives. Join us for the first of several youth baseball and softball days at PNC Park on Sunday, April 21st. Alika Williams bats and swings and lines a base hit into left. Green tries to cut it off and will. That limits Williams to a leadoff single here in the fifth. Telling you about that youth softball and baseball day coming up Sunday, April 21st. The Red Sox are in town. The game's at 135. And we'll celebrate all the exceptional talents of our young players from across Western PA. Get your tickets. Pirates.com slash youth softball or slash youth baseball. So Williams uh, made that fine play to start the or in the uh, top half of the sitting and now starts the bottom half with a base hit. Here's Triolo takes a strike from Casey Mize. Always nice to get that nine nine hole hitter on base especially going into that third time through the order. See if the Pirates can capitalize and stretch this lead out a little bit. These middle innings. Tosh over and Williams back. Yeah Neil that was a, such a big part of their success. First road trip. 
because Michael A. Taylor was batting in that hole and seemed to be on base about every other time. Williams is on for Triolo. Robbed of a hit on a great play by Baez last time around. There's a strike. Fastball away. Nothing at two. Marzell has given that outer edge extended a little bit to both pitchers today with righties up. Here's an 0 2. Swing of a loop foul off to the right. Triolo's working on a 23 game on base streak. That's the longest active streak in baseball. Right now, 0 for 2. Thanks in large part to Baez. 0 2. Down low and away. Able to lay off that slider 1 and 2. Yesterday, so remarkable, he hit a slider that was down and away from Reese Olsen. Didn't hit it hard, but got a base hit on it. He's been getting a lot of sliders in the early part of this 24 season. And that's a good challenge for a young hitter. Make adjustments. 1-2, grounded hard to second. Keith Gloves hops and gets on to second for the force. Great play by the youngster, Keith, to get the lead man. <laughs> well, we like to say baseball giveth and baseball taketh away. And as you mentioned, Jared Triolo, a couple singles in yesterday's game, and at least one of them wasn't hit tremendously hard. And today, turn around, less than 24 hours later, he's crushed two balls that arguably both could have been hits that turned into outs. They're both middle infielders have made fine plays to take those potential hits away from Triolo, who will stand at first on a fielder's choice. Here's Brian Reynolds swinging a fly ball out to left green in a few steps. Sunglasses on. And he's got it for the second out. Reynolds now one for three. Key Brian Hayes is two for two, and he's coming up. The Pittsburgh Brewing Company key account of the game is Hampton Beer Outlet. Pick up Iron City and I see light 30 pack cans, 21.99 plus tax. Two singles has an RBI. Pirates lead two to one, fifth inning. Triolo on at first. With two gone and the pitch. Fouled away. Got 96 out over and he's down a strike. Pirates trying to win their first four series of the season. They are nine and two, equaling their best record since 1992. Here's an 0 1. Fouled back and now two strikes. Sam make a nice catch. What happened over there? Sure did. Oh, there he is. Out of my viewpoint. Here's a two strike pitch. Hayes hits it out to deep left field. Green back to the warning track. Leaps and he makes the catch. Leaping up against that deep left field wall. What an extraordinary play by Riley Green of the Tigers. At least taking extra base hit away. Maybe a home run. Oh, that would have been a homer. Oh, for sure, Joe. Wow, what a terrific play by Riley Green. And this inning should be four to one Buccos. Instead, two to one, the end of the eighth, the end of the fifth here. Uh, the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. There's a little slice of heaven in a mountain town escape. A pace of life that's less hurried, more authentic. Where experiences feel down to earth, yet elevated. Heaven feels a little closer in West Virginia's northern panhandle, a place alive with history and rich in culture. Home to incredible dining, outdoor adventure, casino action, even Broadway shows. Plan your getaway now at wvtourism.com. Hello, driver. It's me, your oil change light, here to ruin your day. Remember that last mechanic who sold you stuff you didn't need? and took three long, boring hours. Did you trust him? Do you trust anyone anymore? What do I know? I'm just a light. Silence your oil change anxiety at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where we give you a stress-free oil change in about 15 minutes. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. These days, every stadium in town has about 100 beer options of all types for fans to choose from. And still, only one completes the outfit. Icy Light. A surprisingly easy call. 
At AHN, we see you at your healthiest, rocking out while you work out, and tuning into soft rock as you rest up from the flu. We see you reliving the good old days with throwbacks and replaying that shark song for your kids again and again. We see you blasting ballads to get you through and searching for an AHN doctor as you listen to the next song. Visit AHN.org to get started. Perez delivers. Veerling takes ball one down low to begin the sixth inning. Brought to you by the operating engineers, Local 66. It stays two to one, Pirates, after Riley Green peeled a home run over the wall and left from Key Brian Hayes. It's outside two and zero. Oh. And for Martin Perez, nine ground ground balls through five innings so far, to go along with six strikeouts, facing 18 batters. This the 19th. A three and zero oh count on Veerling to start. Hasn't walked anybody. Now you like that ground balls and strikeouts. Not going to do much with those. No extra base hits for Detroit today. There's a strike. Four singles. Three, though, came virtually all together in the first inning. That's why Detroit's got to run. Three and one on Veerling with Canna and Green to follow. And the pitch. Swing high fly ball right field. Olivares drifting back a couple of steps. And he's got it. One out. The Red Sox will be in town a weekend series April 19th 20th and 21st and that three gamer against the Red Sox you can get your tickets at Pirates.com. Here's Canna who's 0 for 2 today. 72 pitches for Perez we're in the sixth and it's up and in for ball one. He's thrown more curveballs today than he has in two years in any of his outings. Here's a 1 0 a swing and a soft line drive into left base hit along the line. Sawinski goes to cut it off. Canna's digging in for two. And the throw in is behind Canna, so it's a double. First extra base hit today for Detroit. And there's only been one fly ball in this game through 18 hitters. Anybody that's. This with this a line drive the, the the three hits that they've had or five hits they have but three of them have been line drives so nine ground balls six strikeouts a couple line drives and one fly out today the lefty to face Riley Green swinging a foul tip unloaded on that inside sinker at 92 he's down a strike. He's been challenging Riley Green all game on the inner half two, three unassisted. No, I'm sorry, that was Keith. Riley Green, a single and a 6-3 in this game so far. Bounced up first while you were prescient. Yeah. And Telez will <laughs> take it to the back for the out and advances Canada third with two outs. Yeah, some of these guys, we're so far up here. Some of these guys look <laughs> similar, you know what I mean, Joe? The two lefties. You in just line knew what was Green. going to happen. Oh, Keith, that's right. <laughs> You're being humble. All right, what's going to happen next? What What is Henry going to tell Martin Perez right here? Well, you got Urshela on deck. Sixth inning here, two outs, 76 pitches is even more impressive. I think they're just talking about how they want to attack. Torkelson here. He's got a single and a and a six three on the day. My impression is probably they're either going to start him with a breaking ball and try to get ahead and expand the zone or, or try to go in and then move it away with a change up later in the at bat. Here's the pitch. And it's been up and in ball one. Torkelson with an RBI single in the first inning. One out of two today. Two to one the Pirates lead. Canna at third with two outs for Detroit here in the sixth. Perez the lefty ready in the pitch. Swinging a ground ball hit hard on two hops to short. Williams gloves. The toss across is true. And the Tigers turned aside in the sixth. The hit and the man left at third. Pirates coming to bat, leading two to one on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by IC Light. Hey, it's Taylor. It's fine. 
finally here for one month. Listen now. Sirius XM, Channel 13, Taylor's version. Did you hit the, the like button? Come on, Are hit the like button. Eating that subscribe gas station hot dog? Subscribe too. Yeah, we know. We've been there too. This is a message for baseball fans like you. Did you know that you get a channel that's talking baseball 24-7 as part of your Sirius XM subscription? What? Our lineup includes shows hosted by former big leaguers and executives. Plus, you'll hear from 17 managers each week. MLB Network Radio is on Sirius XM Channel 89. Or just search MLB Network Radio on the SXM app. Sirius XM Sports. We're more than just a game. While you're listening to this game on Sirius XM, we're talking about the latest odds and prop bets for this and, and every game. game. On Sports Grid Radio. The under's minus 125. Heavy juice to the under. Every home run hit and every strikeout thrown can change the line. I can't for the life of me figure out how you can favor a team that never wins, ever. If you're looking for sports talk centered around the latest odds and prop bets for games, races, tournaments, or any sporting events, Sports Grid Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 159. Tune to Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 all year long. All year long to hear expert opinions and analysis from former players, coaches, and executives. Line drive, cruise missile over the center field wall. Pirates fans, this is Ben Sherrington, and you're listening to Pirates Baseball on Sirius XM. Suit up this season at MLBShop.com. You can check out the largest selection of official jerseys, caps, T-shirts, collectibles, and more. Gear up with your Pirates at MLBShop.com. So we go to the sixth, and the Tigers are going to the bullpen. They'll bring in lefty Tyler Holton. And we saw Tyler Holton last night's game. Quick turnaround for him. He's got a 1-6-9 ERA. This is fifth game of work in five and a third with four hits and six strikeouts. First one is in there for a strike. They want the lefty to face Jack Sawinski, who is 5-4-11 with a home run against lefties this year. Career-wise, not as successful, but lately it's been good this year. Swing and a dribbler back to the mound. The Tigers will win that battle. Holton throws him out at first. One out. And now the right-handed batting, Edward Olivares, who really enjoys hitting left-handed pitching. He'll come up. It used to be you could just uh, have uh, a pitcher come in face one hitter, but now there's a three batter rule. Face a minimum of three hitters unless you end the inning. And I can't say we dislike that up here in our vantage point. Joe? Now we got to do a two out of three type deal. There's a cut and a miss and a strike to Laz on deck. I say, all right, this is where we want him. Pirates have the lead two to one in the bottom of the sixth. Well, Ivaris is homered today and he takes down low one ball one strike a line drive home run to the big field and left. Holton sets and comes home in tight. And now two and one on Olivares. Book on Mize for the day. He went five innings with five hits. And gave up two earned runs. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball deep to left field. Olivares has done it again. A two home run day. Edward Olivares parks one in the left. And the Pirates lead it three to one. So nice. He did it twice. Eddie O. With another solo shot, almost in the exact same spot he hit the last one. Just with a little bit more launch angle on this one, Joe. That nice really shot it. off his bat. Wow. It sure did. That Bowser blast for Olivares. That's a huge pickup run. Now a two-run lead here in the sixth. For Rowdy Telez. Swing and a ground ball hit hard, but cut off by the shortstop Baez and on to first for the out. And that's how it works these days. If you want to bring in a lefty face two out of three but you got to face a right handed batter and Olivares makes a pay. He sure did. Had a hanging change up right in the middle of the heart part of the plate and he does not miss it. Third career multi home run game for Olivares. He had a couple last year. And the pitch to Michael A. Taylor, a wave and a miss. And he's down a strike. Three to one. Pirates lead on Olivares' second home run today. That went a little bit longer 
than the first one, 407 feet inside one ball, one strike. That home run flight path brought to you by Pittsburgh International Airport, flying nonstop to Iceland starting May 16th. And the 1-1, one -one, Taylor swings through it. It's one ball and two strikes. Pirates lead 3-1 to one in the sixth. Two home runs today for Olivares. Holton to work to the right-handed batting, Taylor. And now time. 10 for a station break on the Pirates Radio Network. Baseball is back. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Taylor will take a bit up, and it's two balls and two strikes. He's 0 for 2 today. Two bounce outs against the starter, Mize. Now facing the reliever, Holton. Here's the pitch. A little bit low, 3 and 2. Olivares with a pair of home runs today. 407 and 395. Hayes would have hit one out, but Green stole it from him. Here's the pitch. Swing it a foul right back. Tigers have a right-hander up now. Payoff coming to Taylor. Swing it a bouncer foul. Yeah, the way that the Pirates got into the Tigers' pen yesterday, which had been used quite a bit against the A's in that home series. Here we go again. Just five innings for Mize today. 3-2. Strike three call right on the inner edge. Taylor jackknifed out of the way, but it appeared to be on that inside edge of the plate. Derek Shelton comes out of the Pirates dugout to make sure that Taylor stays in the ball game. He was hot. So we'll go to the seventh, and after Olivares' second home run today, it's the Pirates three and the Tigers one on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Think about this. It takes more than 4,000 pounds of force for a Pirate to hit a home run. That's a lot of power. Now think about this. At Energy Harbor, we provide enough clean energy to fuel more than 4 million homes every year. That's also a whole lot of power. Energy Harbor is proud to be the official energy supplier of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Discover everything we have to offer Pirates fans at energyharbor.com forward slash pirates. Energy Harbor. Live with power. Hey, Pirates fans, if you're in the military, we at 84 Lumber want to give you the PNC Park experience for less. You and your family are eligible for discounted seats at select home games thanks to our military discount. Visit Pirates.com slash military for details. In real estate, it's all about the amenities. I should know. I'm an agent. At Hyundai, all of our models offer first-class features, like Android Auto, an available Bose premium audio system, heated front and rear seats, and wireless device charging. It's like an upscale home on wheels in here. It's your journey. Own every mile. Right now, for a limited time only, lease a Tucson for $2.59 a month or get up to $12.50 retail bonus cash. Visit your local Hyundai dealer today. Offer ends April 30th. Call 562-314-4603 for complete offer details. Pluto TV has over 300 channels and thousands of TV shows and movies for whatever mood you're in. Just open the app and something good will already be playing because it's curated by people who love TV as much as you do. So if you're in the mood for comedy, there's 18 channels that'll make you laugh. Looking for drama? We got so much of it, you'll cry tears of joy. Reality shows, game shows, sports, Star Trek, and even more Star Trek. No matter what mood you're in, there's something on Pluto TV. Just download the app and start streaming. Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never. Seventh inning coming up. And Martin Perez delivers down and away for ball one. And working with a three to one lead now after another home run by Olivares. Gio Urshela leads it off. Fouled away. And now the count even one ball and one strike. Perez started the inning at 78 pitches. Been in that vicinity of 85 through his first couple of starts. Here's a 1 1 swing and a miss. Upstairs cutter, and it's 1 and 2. There's activity in both bullpens. Rowansi Contreras getting up for the Pirates, who will lead by two runs here in the seventh. Alex Lang, a right hander for the Tigers. Here's the pitch. 
curve low. It's two balls and two strikes. Six strikeouts today for Perez. For every Pirate strike out, a strikeout in April, Coppers donates $50 to the Junior Diabetes Research Foundation. Trying for another on 2-2. Two -two. And the pitch. Urshela takes strike three. How about seven? Season high for Perez. And that was a terrific sequence of pitches right there for Martin Perez. Gio Urshela fouls a fastball off to start this at bat. Then he goes in with the cutter and gets a swing and miss and changes his eye level with the curveball in the dirt and then back up and in with the two-seam sinker, runs it back over the plate. First one is in there for a strike. Colt Keith has grounded out to first and grounded out to first. The pitch. Fly ball to right. In the air for Olivares. Two home runs for Edward today. He'll drift in and make the catch for the second out. There's a whole lot of love for the PA Lottery. And when you see how fun it is, you'll understand why. Visit PALottery.com today. Players got to be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. It benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. Two up, two down. Carson Kelly for two today. A right-handed batting Tigers catcher. Martin Perez trying to complete seven. Delivers in for ball one. Pirates on top, three to one. And the pitch. Swing a roller to third. Hayes gloves and gets it across for the final out. Nice one, two, three inning for Martin Perez of the Pirates. Seventh inning stretch at PNC Park on this gorgeous Tuesday afternoon. It remains three to one Pirates on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Massive news in the world of college basketball. John Calipari is leaving Kentucky. When the sports world is talking, nobody gives you more perspectives than the experts of Sirius XM. That is absolutely wild to me. Yeah, I was shocked. Here is the reaction on college sports radio. This is about resources, and that's what the game is about now. And expert analysis on SEC radio. I don't know who doesn't win in this situation. Live sports talk when you need it on Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. This is CJ Nikowski. Join me, Ryan Spielborgs, and Brad Lidge every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern as we give you the player's perspective of what's happening in baseball. He is possessed every time he goes out there right now. This is crazy. There's this energy that certain players bring. It's Loud Outs every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XM FC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jim Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XM FC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Alexa. Did you know you can listen to this game on devices with Amazon Alexa? Download the Sirius XM app, then tell me to play the Pirates on Sirius XM. Pirates fans, this is Paul Skeens, and you're listening to Pirates Baseball on Sirius XM. Pirates 3, Tigers 1, as the Pirates come to bat in the bottom of the seventh against a new Tigers pitcher, right-hander Alex Lang. For Alex Lang... He's got a 3-3-8 on the season. This is fifth game of work. Two and two-thirds, three hits. Four walks and four strikeouts. He'll face Henry Davis. Alika Williams and then Jared Triolo. And the pitch. There's a strike. 96. Hard thrower. Lots of swing and miss. More walks than hits allowed last year from Lang. Bounced yeah. up there one on one. Yeah, he's got really good stuff. To, and to go along with the strikeouts, gets a heavy amount of ground balls as well. Interesting combination. Pirates lead three to one, and the pitch to Henry. Inside, missing, and it's two balls and a strike. Out of LSU.
Here it is. And Henry takes down low and away three and one. Back to work on this one. And a swing and a foul. Foul tip on a curveball at 87, and it's three and two. That's about as hard as you mm. can throw a curveball, I think. Yeah, three one curveball right there in a terrific spot. And Alex Lang, one of their higher leverage relievers. And the pitch outside, and Henry will work a second walk today. He's the only player to walk today. In yeah, the he's. Whole yeah, game. Yeah, he's grinded out a couple bats, Joe, you know, as we mentioned. Kind of struggling to get going in the early part of the season, but he'll get there. Nonetheless, he does, does a good job today getting on base twice in his three at-bats. Here's Alika Williams. Struck a base hit his last time. Urshela playing in at third. First pitch busts him in for ball one. One and no on Alika Williams. And the pitch. Down low and away, 2 and 0. Urshela will abandon his position playing in, I think, now. Williams has laid down two sacrifices this year, so maybe that's in the scouting report. Will Bunt or May Bunt. Here's the pitch. Could not hold up on that 2 0 curveball that Lang threw him. It's 2 and 1 now. Yeah, Alex Lang not afraid to throw that curveball. 3-1 curveball to Henry Davis and a 2-0 curveball right there to Alika Williams. Both for strikes. Here's the pitch. Check swing and a ball down low. He went on the appeal to Jordan Baker. And now 2-2. Two and two. Andrew Chafin, a left-hander getting up for Detroit. Davis on at first with nobody out. Pirates own the lead three to one. Bottom of the seventh. Lang ready 2 2. Strike three call and came back from down 2 0 to get Alika Williams looking on that fastball one out. Back to the top for Jared Triolo who's over three today. Fourth time through the order for these Bucks. 3-1 lead here. See if they can make something happen. Push one more across. Put some more pressure on this Detroit Tigers offense. Yeah, the strike on a swing and a miss to Triolo. Trying to extend that 23-game on base streak, the longest active one going right now. A couple of good plays by the middle infielders have taken potential hits away from them. Sinker way outside, one ball and one strike. Here's the pitch, and it bounces up there, two and one. Maybe a little bad luck for Triolo. Last year, he had a lot of good luck, I, I would think. Uh, he had the highest batting average on balls in play. Anyone that came up 200 times in a season since 1895. Wheeling born Jesse Burkett. Of the Cleveland Spiders. There's a cut and a miss. Two and two. I asked Jared back in spring training. I said, well, well, why do you think it was so high? He said, well, some people's misses, they go into seats and mines fall in. A little parachutes, you know, had, had a lot of those base hits. But he started to sting the ball toward the tail end of last season. Second time. That he was up with the Pirates. 2 2 tap foul. Well, you can't teach luck, you know? There's sometimes you have a little bit of luck, sometimes you have a lot of luck. Usually by the end of your career, it's going to even out in some capacity, wouldn't you think, Joe? Yeah, and I, I don't think it's all luck, batting average on balls to play. Some guys, like Luis Arias of the Marlins, don't tell me he's lucky that he puts a lot of balls in play where the hitters are. He cracks that ball to right center field. This one's hit well, and a leaping catch by Veerling on the run. Okay, there is luck. <laughs> and it's been bad luck for Triolo today. The Tigers have made three really good plays to steal hits from him today. Oh, man, this had 
double, possible, triple written all over it. Right center field stays inside the baseball. Beerling gets a terrific jump on it. Tracks it down just a step before the wall out there in right center field. Okay, I'm convinced. <laughs> Here's Reynolds. And there's a strike. So if Triolo's on base streak does end today, nothing he did. You're right. <laughs> it's what the Tigers did. Three to one, Pirates on top. Davis at first with two away. Here it is. And it's low. And as you mentioned, you know, that ball rolls to the wall. Even with one out, Davis is a possibility of scoring. At the very least, he's going to get to third. Yep. Here's a 1 1. And that's low. Reynolds with the double back of the third. Two balls and a strike on him. Facing Alex Lang. Hayes, who's on deck, had a home run taken away from him by Green to end the fifth inning. It would have been a two run home run. Swinging a foul. Home run in 24 out of the 30 ballparks, according to StatCast. But what were we saying in the pregame, right? That if you have those close games, sometimes defense is what puts you over the top. The Tigers have played very good defense yep. today. They still trail in this game, but if they win it, you can point to that is the reason why. The pitch swinging a fly ball to left. Green over toward the line a few steps. He's got it, and the Pirates are gone in the seventh. A man left. Eighth coming up. Three to one Pirates on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by IC Light. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Dear team, thanks for showing up for me with the best face paint and taunting the other team in the kindest way. For standing on your seat when I need the support and screaming until your throat hurts because you know it makes a difference. For wearing my number. For being the best teammates a player could ask for. At Highmark, we're proud to be cheering alongside the best teammates. Fans like you. Because life. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Official health plan of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates fans love listening to their favorite team wherever they go, especially on a summer getaway to Erie, Pennsylvania. Seven miles of sandy and spacious beaches, the natural beauty of Lake Erie, and the amusement park rides and slides your family will love. The best part? If you're within the sound of my voice, your Great Lake escape is only a few hours away in Erie, PA. Plan your trip at visiterie.com. Hey, Pirates fans, Fatheads Brewery is excited to be back again for another season of Pirates Baseball. Look for your favorites like Headhunter IPA and Bumbleberry Honey Blueberry Ale, as well as our newest year-round and hometown brew, Ginger Lager, throughout the park and at our bullpen bar. Cheers! Detroit comes to bat here in the eighth inning. The Pirates have the lead 3-1. to one. Martin Perez back out. 87 pitches. He's only given up. What, oh, he got five hits? That's it. Three in that first inning played at a run. Facing Javier Baez, who's 0 for 2 today. Swinging a high fly ball to left. Routine for Sawinski. On that first pitch curveball, he flies out to left. One pitch and one out for Perez here in the eighth. I oh, love to see that right there. Especially with Martin Perez's pitch count at 80, 88 right now. He'd love to skip the eighth inning bullpen guy and move right to Bednar if he can. Outside ball one. Probably prefer to stay away from Chapman today. He came on to Chapman and struck out two men with the bases loaded facing the potential tying run both he's, times. He's That's down low 2-0. And, and Chapman is thrown in six of the first 11 today being 12. So, you know, he's been heavily used. You'd love, especially with tomorrow a day off, get him two days in a row. Here's a 2-0, and now a strike. 
Ronsi Contreras was warming last inning. He's just throwing to be available, be ready down there. Rogers struck out both times today and then foul back and now two and two. Perez pitched eight or more innings last in May of 22. That was his all star season. Went nine innings that day. Yeah, there's nothing visibly that shows that he's tiring or losing effectiveness. Here's the 2 2 swing and a foul back. Or we talk about the between innings. You know, you leave the ball up. That could be a yeah, foul weather. He's not throwing strikes. He hasn't walked a single batter going into this inning. Yeah. He's been putting the ball where he wants it. He's not a hard thrower anyway. 2 2 rolled right to third. Hayes, a friendly hop, has it. And the toss across, two men gone. He'll get Veerling for a fourth time. Yeah, he's a, he's in the rocket chair. Veerling scored the Tigers' run. That was back in the first inning. Pirates are leading three to one. Edward Olivares, a pair of home runs today. Two solo numbers. At the pitch, Veerling takes a strike. Lift the leg and the pitch down low. And that curveball has been good friend for Perez today. He's used it more often than he has in any start in two years. Getting some swings and misses, stealing some strikes with it. Here's a 1 1. Swing the ball, hit off the end of the bat into right a base hit. Olivares will cut it off and hold Veerling to a two out single. There's a lot of grass out there. Here's Canna. He had a double. That was a, a ball inside the bag into left field back in the sixth inning. That's the only extra base hit that Perez has allowed today. No walks. 33 year old veteran left hander. Here's the pitch, and that's outside for ball one. Looks like a slider or something, or a changeup that backed up a little bit. The other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the set, and now a 1 0 coming from Perez. There's the strike. Got the cutter over it. Now it's 1 1. Two outs, man at first. Tigers batting eighth inning. Pirates leading three to one. Mark Canna, righty batter. The pitch. Swing a high fly ball left field. Swinski drifts in. Underneath it, Canna corn. And that ends the inning. Two out man on. Left for Detroit. Martin Perez, one run over eight sterling innings here this afternoon. And we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Pirates coming to bat, leading three to one on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by Icy Light. Great hitting, pitching, base running, and fielding are the ingredients of a winning team. For every other ingredient, Pirates fans trust Giant Eagle Market District and Get Go. They know their neighborhood grocery store is loaded with fresh, quality food and everyday value. Plus, with convenient curbside pickup and home delivery, high quality products from our family of brands, and epic My Perks rewards, Giant Eagle Market District and Get Go give Pirates fans more ways to score every time they shop. Bring savings home with Giant Eagle, the official supermarket of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Ice cream and a ball game? Now that's a home run combination. Indulge in the full flavored, creamy taste of Perry's ice cream at PNC Park or find Perry's ice cream at Giant Eagle, official ice cream of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Baseball can be thrilling. Ball. But as the official bank of the Pirates, PNC Bank prefers keeping things boring. Like when it's all tied up in the bottom of the ninth, two outs, bases loaded. Ball two. Sure, you could put one over the wall and be a hero, but swinging's risky. Ball three. Now keep that bat on your shoulder, Slugger, and be the hero who walks in the winning run. Ball four. Patience is a winning strategy in banking and baseball. PNC Bank, brilliantly boring since 1865. PNC Bank National Association, member FDIC. There are a lot of ways to make whiskey. 
there's only one way to make Jack Daniels. Jack could have been like any other whiskey. Instead, they charcoal mellow every drop through 10 feet of hard sugar maple charcoal using water from Cave Spring Hollow in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It's no coincidence that Jack is what it is today because when you make your own label, you make everything else yours too. Make it count. Jack Daniels. Please drink responsibly. Tennessee whiskey, 40% alcohol by volume. Jack Daniel Distillery, Lynchburg, Tennessee. Jack Daniels and Old Number 7 are registered trade points. Copyright 2024, Jack Daniels. All rates reserved. We'll see if the Pirates can get some insurance as they lead three to one. We go to the bottom of the eighth and a one time Pirate Shelby Miller coming on to work. For Shelby Miller on the season. He's got a zero ERA. Is this his fifth game of work? Got six innings, two walks and six K's. Keep Brian Hayes having a great day at the plate. Pitch. Swinging a twisting fly ball back of first. Torkelson into foul territory with room will make the catch. Just as they fire up the organ, one out. And now Sawinski. Against the righty Miller, who pitched in 10 games for the Pirates in 2021. David Bednar is getting up. Martin Perez, eight innings. Six hits a run that was in the first inning. No walks, seven strikeouts, 100 pitches. Sawinski 0 for 3 today. Takes high and away for ball one. Well, more than that, Joe, he faced 29 hitters today. No walks, 7 Ks, 13 ground balls. Wow. 20 of the 29 hitters finished in a strikeout or a ground ball out. That's really good. Well, and that, that, those 13 ground balls don't include the, the three ground ball base hits as yeah. well. Yeah. Half swing he went and it's a ball and a strike on Jack. Yeah, it's, uh, ground balls will find holes sometimes. But like we said, first inning he gives up one run, but it cost him. You know, he had to give up three hits to get those one run. And the pitch, swinging a soft fly ball back of third and short into shallow left. Green coming on. It'll be the shortstop Baez ranging back to make the catch. Two gone, and now Edward Olivares with a chance for a three home run game. Is Homer to left twice. Back of the second and his last time up in the sixth. And that one two innings ago, 407 foot home run off a changeup. First one is down low for ball one. Two outs, nobody on. Pirates lead three to one in the eighth. Bednar getting up for the ninth. The 1 0 from Miller. Down low, and it's two balls and no strikes to Olivares. Miller goes back to rub up the baseball. Olivares has never faced Shelby Miller. Olivares, yeah, not ready to hit, so he's assessed to strike. It's two and one. Got to be ready to hit at the eight second mark. Here's a two one. Olivares smacks it out to the notch in left center field. This is going to be caught on the run by Veerling. <laughs> That's incredible. My goodness. He went all the way to the notch, almost to the 410 side to run that down, Joe. Terrific defense by Matt Beerling, especially today for the Detroit Tigers. Oh, this could be a real one-sided affair if it weren't for the Tigers' glove work today. It still may not matter. Three outs away from a Pirate victory. We go to the ninth. It's the Pirates three and the Tigers one on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Ball or strike, fair or foul, bring the heat or change it up, and who have you got for the pierogi race? Pirates baseball is full of tough calls, but the beer to enjoy while root, root, rooting is never one of them. Icy Life, easy call. At AHN, we see you at your healthiest, rocking out while you work out, and tuning into soft rock as you rest up from the flu. We see you reliving the good old days with throwbacks and replaying that shark song for your kids again and again. We see you blasting ballads to get you through and searching for an AHN doctor as you listen to the next song. Visit AHN.org to get started. Three bands. 
One Stadium. Jeff Leppard. Journey. The Steve Miller Band. Together. Three Rock and Roll Hall of Fame icons. Their biggest hits. Saturday, July 27th. DNC Park. Tickets on sale now at Def Leppard Journey 2024.com. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions based on over 650 million vehicle scans verified by ASE certified master technicians. And if you need help, we can recommend a shop for you. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Here we go, ninth inning. Did you hit the like button? Come on, hit the like button. Subscribe too. Join the family. Baseball is back. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. David Bednar coming on to try to lock it down, facing Riley Green. And he takes inside for ball one. Bednar's going to get the three, four, five. Pole hitters for the Detroit Tigers. He's, this is his fifth game. David Bednar's four and a half ERA with four innings, three hits, no walks, and six strikeouts. Here's the 1 0. And it's a little bit off the plate away. A curveball missing. Two balls and no strikes. On Green, Torkelson, and then Urshela to follow. Part of the Tigers order. Here's a 2 0 pitch. Swinging a foul back. Challenged him with 97. It's 2 and 1. Bednar is 1 for 3 in save opportunities. Has a two run advantage. 3 to 1. Pirates here in the ninth. Here's the 2 1. Up high. 3 and 1. Perez win eight innings. Six hits a run. It was earned. That came in the first inning. No walks and seven strikeouts. Now on to Bednar for the ninth. Facing the lefty batter. One for three today. 3-1 three, to Green. Up and in, and he walked him. Tying run coming up with nobody out for Detroit. Now their best home run hitter, Spencer Torkelson, is coming up. Had a run scoring hit back in the first. One out of three. Bednar is ready. And his pitch. And it hit him in the elbow guard. Curveball. And Henry Davis is saying, well, hey, he didn't get out of the way of the pitch. He turned right into it. On a slow curveball, Derek Shelton is halting the proceedings. And I think we kind of saw this same thing happen with the Mets first baseman either yesterday or the day before. He didn't quite move out, move out of the way, and he, they made him stay in there. And the Pirates will not challenge, and Oscar Marine is going to come out after two men on have uh, two men have reached here to begin this ninth inning. A walk and a hit batter. So just like that. The tying runs are on for Urshela coming up. They almost never call a batter for not getting out of the way, but uh, that would have been a, that would have been an instance, I think. Yeah. Could have. So trying to settle down, Bednar. Last year led baseball in save percentage. How effective he was saving games. Well over 90 percent. Zach McKinstry will pinch run for Torkelson at first. That's the potential tying run. And the pitch home. Curveball inside ball one to Urshela. Started to back out of the way of that one. Empire outfielders are going to play almost no doubles. All three of the outfielders playing a little deeper than normal. Not quite no double territory. Here's a 1 0, and there's a strike. Fastball over the outer edge, one and one. Bednar on to try to save it. Three and one. 
Three to one, the Pirates lead, and the one and one pitch outside. Try the fastball, missed. Two and one. Bednar went a couple of months into last season without an unintentional walk. Here he has walked and hit a batter. With nobody out in the ninth, and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive up the middle base hit. Squared up his 98. And Green is going to come around to score. Throw to third. It gets away from Hayes and into the seats. That allows the runner to advance a base, and we're tied. And just like that, another failed save. And there'll be a runner at third here with nobody out. Oh, no. So unfortunate right here. Michael Taylor comes up and fires this ball to third. Has a good opportunity to get McKinstry trying to go first to third. And it two hops to key, and that second hop kind of eats him up a little bit. Hits off the heel of his glove and pops over the, dug the Pirates dugout on the third baseline. It'll be an error by Michael A. Taylor on the throw. And so three batters in. The game's tied. Still nobody out. Derek Shelton out to talk with the umpires. Well, I, I'm, I'm guessing he's asking why Gio Urshela gets third when that ball went into the, the stands. And I guess this is something you can review, apparently. This will be a crew chief review. Right now, it's it ruled as a single. Urshela took second on the throw, give him an RBI, and then advance the third on the throwing error. And if I'm not mistaken, you have to be either like a step from the second base or step from the, the go-ahead bag to get the next bag when the ball goes out of play. And in this instance, when that ball went into the dugout, Gio Urshela wasn't even halfway to second base. But I could be wrong, Joe. What, what do you know when, about When this? you throw a ball into the stands from an outfielder, it's two bases, okay. but that's... The umpire judges when the throw was made. So it's two bases from when the throw was made. So in this case, Urshela, did he... Uh, pardon me, uh, McKinstry, did he achieve second base by the time the throw was made? And so that's where they're trying to determine that. Same thing, Urshela had achieved first base. I don't think there's any question yeah. there. And so that's why it would push him home. But when it looked to me like he kind of stopped when that ball at least was in the air from Michael Taylor to third base. So the Pirates might have a good argument here. Now, if the uh, lead or the uh, the trailing runner, McKinstry, isn't ruled to have scored, then he would have to stop at third, and then by rule, Urshela would be moved back to second base, even if he had already gotten to first base by the time the throw was made. So they're, they're looking back, and what they can do at the replay center in New York is they can look at the overhead view, and they can see exactly when that ball was unfurled, where all the runners were at that time and make an assessment. And so this uh, crew chief review ongoing. Mark Carlson is getting word from New York. This is a challenge, by the way. I correct myself. Pirates challenge and uh, assessing where it is uh, with the boundary as well. Did it leave the playing field? All right, here comes the call. After review, the call in the field is overturned. The runner will be placed at second base. Pittsburgh will retain their town. So they're going to move Urshela back to second only. I'll wait to get a, an official explanation before I surmise why. So it's still tied. Parker Meadows will run for Urshela. So I'm a little bit, a little bit confused as to why that is, but we'll get that figured out. See if that helps here with a man at second, and that's now Meadows pinch running with nobody out. Game's tied up at three, the pitch, and a swing and a miss. Strike one.
And the pitch. That's down low. Try the splitter that time. One ball and one strike. So a walk hit batter. Single in an error. Tigers get two here in the ninth. Still nobody out against Bednar in the 1 1. Swinging a ground ball hit to third, or pardon me, to first, and Telez will take it to first for the out. That advances Meadows to third on that curveball. So one out, but now a chance for the Tigers to take a lead with a deep enough fly ball, and they'll use Kerry Carpenter to pinch hit. So there will be a bottom of the ninth now. Carpenter batting for Kelly, a lefty swinger who hit 20 home runs last year. Henry Davis back out to chat with Bednar. Well, he could not convert the save, but he's hoping to keep the game tied now. Infield will come up for the Pirates here, a two run ninth inning for Detroit, tying the game. Jose Hernandez, lefty, getting up for the Pirates. Here's the set and the pitch. Way high and away, ball one, not close on that curveball. And Bednar, of course, sidelined in spring training for most of it with a lat concern. And so far, this young season has been hit pretty hard. His average exit velocity coming into today, highest on the team. And so far, it was the walk and the hit batter preceding that single. 98 fastball smashed into center field. There's a swing and a miss. Good split right there from yeah. David. Breaking ball is just kind of hanging arm side in this inning. As you mentioned, the rare walk by him and a rare hit by pitch. Just having a little tough time in the early part of this season getting settled in. To what makes him so special. 1-1 one, one is popped towards short and just out of the reach of Williams. That'll score the go-ahead run. And with the infield in, Williams could not get back to the edge of the infield dirt on that little humpback liner. And that scores another run for Detroit. It's 4-3. to three. Oh, man. This is so unfortunate for the Pirates. The infield drawn in. Alika Williams does a nice job trying to get to this ball at the cut of the infield and outfield. And Carpenter just getting enough of it to dump it into left field. Well, they wanted to have the infield in if you get a routine ground ball. That was a ball one down low. Then that runner might take off from third and score. What you don't count on is something that's far less likely, and that's just that little weak pop-up that doesn't get very high up in the air. That ball was behind Baez and no advance by the runner. They're going to rule him hit by pitch. Going to rule by as hit by pitch. That, that ball was behind him, and Bednar is having some immense control issues here in this ninth inning. Bednar is uh, about as good of a command pitcher as you see. He tried to throw him a curveball and it hit off of his back and then his bat. Two hit batters in an inning for Bednar. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Now for three years, we've seen Bednar pretty much put the ball where he wants to. He can throw the fastball right down the middle. Guys can't square it up. We're, we're not seeing that here this year. That's inside, one and one. Now Bednar hit five batters in his entire career. He's hit two in this inning. Here's the one one. And Rogers takes low. It's two balls and a strike. First and second, three in for Detroit. Tigers lead four to three. Still only one out. Two one to Rogers. High and in. Three and one. Benar is as good as they come last year. And really in his three years with the Pirates. Having a rough go here this afternoon. Here's the pitch. Swinging a bouncer on to Hayes. Past his try and in the left, the base hit. 
Carpenter will score. It's five to three to try to score four times off Bednar here in the ninth. I just don't remember seeing it anything like this from David Bednar. In the velocities there, every, nothing seems to be hampering him. It just, it seems like he's either missing a lot or missing right down the middle. And this right here to Rogers, a pitch fastball that was just right down the middle of the plate that he pulls into the six hole. And then they got to get him out. Here comes Derek Shelton. And uh, this game, this inning started with a three to one Pirates lead. The Tigers with four in the ninth, leading five to three, and that's it for Bednar. Well, that's not fair. That's, I don't, I don't like hearing those boos. That's not fair. No, I agree. He's, he's as good as they come. He's just going through stretch right here. David Bednar's going to be just fine. They're always done for Pittsburgh. No, that's not the time to do that. This pitching change brought to you by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Visit your neighborhood Valvoline for a stay in your car oil change done in about 15 minutes. No appointment needed. Rough go for Bednar today. Four across for the Tigers in the ninth. Jose Hernandez inherits two runners with one out. 5-3 Detroit. We're back after this on the Pirates Radio Network presented by IC Light. Hello, driver. It's me, your oil change light. Here to ruin your day. Remember that last mechanic who sold you stuff you didn't need? and took three long, boring hours. Did you trust him? Do you trust anyone anymore? What do I know? I'm just a light. Silence your oil change anxiety at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where we give you a stress-free oil change in about 15 minutes. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. The Pirates and PNC are going to bat for local small businesses by highlighting a different business each month. This month, the spotlight is on Los Sabrosos Dance Company, a dance and fitness studio with a large menu of dance styles available in group and private lessons for both kids and adults. They can also help celebrate birthdays, quinceañeras, weddings, and other events. From ballroom to Zumba, they have something for everyone. See their calendar and learn more at lspgh.com. Well, it's a two-run game just as the inning started, but the tides have turned. Detroit has the lead now, 5-3, to three, and it's up to Jose Hernandez to try to keep, or pardon me, Roatsy Contreras, the right-hander, excuse me, uh, to keep this game a two-run affair with two on and one out. So Contreras, who was up earlier to face Matt Beerling, yeah, the first one is inside for ball one, almost hit him. And Contreras on the season, he's got a 3.86 ERA, four and two thirds, giving up three hits, one walk, and four strikeouts. Yeah, that one is a strike. Bednar had never had a four-run inning as a Pirate, never. I just, you just never would see an outing like this. Put a ball, one strike. Contreras sets and delivers. Swing and a looping fly ball. That should reach the seats off to the right. One ball and two strikes. Baez at second and Rogers out at first. Four in for Detroit. Five three Tigers at the top of the ninth and the one two outside. With the slider, two balls and two strikes. Right. Telez Taylor Davis do up in the bottom half for the Pirates. There's the 2 2. Strike three call and two outs. Contreras strikes out Veerling looking. Now Mark Kenna, the ninth Tiger to bat in the inning. Ah, that's a good slider from Rowe right here. Just next to the bottom corner. In a way, really not happy about it. Uh, keep it right here, Rowe. The fuck the chance down two going into the night. Yeah, the first one is up high, ball one. Yeah, if you, you figure a two-run game, you're always at a disadvantage trailing with one inning to play, but you get a runner on, you bring the tying run up, put a little pressure on the Tigers. 
Here's the 1 0. Swing and a fly ball to center. Taylor over to his left. He makes the catch. And Contreras holds serve, getting his two men stranding the two inherited runners. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Pirates down 5 to 3 on the Pirates Radio Network, presented by Icy Light. Netflix is a joke radio brings you exclusive comedy specials and stand up from Netflix's massive library from the world's biggest comedians. He's Mick Jagger. I pitched him a joke and he went, not funny. We give you unparalleled access to Netflix's top premieres and join Tom Papa and Fortune Feimster every day for interviews with the biggest names in comedy. <laughs> Netflix is a joke radio channel 93. Search comedy on the all new Sirius XM app. Get ready for the 2024 NFL Draft on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Touchdown, Caleb Williams. Catch exclusive interviews with the top prospects as they begin their journey to the NFL and hear pick-by-pick -pick coverage of the 2024 Draft from Detroit. With the first pick, the Chicago Bears select. Your home for the 2024 NFL Draft is Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 in the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and now the Pirates need two. They trail Detroit five to three. And Detroit going to the bullpen. I think that's Jason Foley. It's usually who comes in, in these situations, although Hinch doesn't have a clue. Yeah, that's Foley coming on. Try to save it for the Tigers. And Foley on the year. He's got a zero ERA. This is his sixth game. Four and a third, one hit. Two walks and seven Ks. Tana will go from right field to play first base. Rogers will catch the Tigers, lose their DH. Uh, McKinstry is in at third base. Meadows now in center, and Veerling goes to right. Roddy Telez will lead it off. Pirates need a base runner to bring the tying run up against Foley. First one is down and in, ball one. Well, let's, uh, let's see what Pirates may have. This, is, this was not an easy inning. Let's see if they've got one more flare left in their emergency kit. Here's the 1-0. And a strike. Otherwise, the Tigers will get out of here with a split. One ball, one strike on Rowdy Telezo for three today. And the righty delivers. Swing on a line drive foul off to the right. Pepper that inside changeup, and it's one and two. Telez has never faced Foley. One and two on Rowdy Telez. And a warning Foley to make sure Telez is ready to hit. One ball, two strikes on the Pirates. The leadoff man here at the bottom of the ninth. Five, three Tigers. Now the set and the pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit in the left center. And the Pirates immediately on that hit by Telez. They'll bring the tying run up here in the bottom of the ninth. What a nice piece of hit right here by Rowdy in a one-two count. Gets a two-seamer right on the edge of the plate away from him. He stays on it, shoots it right where normally a shortstop would be playing. He's going to stay in the game. He's only one of the two runs the Pirates need. There's Michael A. Taylor. And he accepts a strike from Foley. 99 right at the top of the zone. Hit less than three tries today. What a time it would be for his first homer as a pirate. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a crack bat. Ground ball right at the bag is second. They're out there and then on to first for the Taylor made double play. No pun intended. 4 to 3. Keith DeCanna. And now you don't have the tying run up with Henry Davis coming to bat. 
right at the back. Yep. Five three, Detroit leading a four run, ninth inning. After Perez pitched eight strong, one run, fouled back. Won't get a decision. The Pirates were three outs away from a 10 and 2 start. Looking bleak right now. Here's an 0 1. Swing and a ground ball. That's going to get through a base hit for Henry Davis. Davis snaps an 0 for 16. Gets out with a big base hit, and here comes O'Neill Cruz to pinch hit. All right, nice job by Henry Davis. Slapping this ball up the middle for a base hit on a slider. He's had a nice day today, two walks, and a single for one for two day. Now we got O'Neill Cruz coming off the bench, seeing if he can create some fireworks in this hometown crowd. Cruz with the potential tying run. Facing Jason Foley and the pitch inside ball one. Don't have to hit it out, just keep the line moving. First time that Cruz has faced Foley. Pirates down two in the bottom of the ninth. Pitch is swung out and fouled back. Off to the left. One ball, one strike, 99 from Foley. Henry Davis. A two out single so that the Pirates can bring the tying run back up. Down five to three here in the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Cruz pinch hitting. 1-1 one, one from Foley. Cruz a hard ground ball but right to the shortstop Baez. And the Tigers are going to earn a split. They score four off Bednar in the ninth. 5-3 Detroit the final. And we got the postgame show coming up right after this. Here on the Pirates Radio Network presented by ICLA. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the chop with no second thought. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on winning. It's never anything I ever take for granted. Here comes Larry Bird, the Hall of Famer, and he just won Legend of the Year. Legend of the Year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we rely on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Pirates baseball brought to you by Giant Eagle, the official supermarket of the Pirates. By Highmark, proud to support Pirates everywhere, from home base to home, away from home, because life. Highmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield. Your neighborhood Ford store. Operating Engineers Local 66. Partner with them at IUOE66.org. Tri-State Office Furniture, the best in the business. I see light, refreshing, flavorful, and only 95 calories. It's always an easy call. I see light. Let's raise another. Allegheny Health Network, official medical provider of the Pirates, caring for you through every win, every loss, and every moment in between. PNC, brilliantly boring since 1865. The Pennsylvania Lottery, players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. And by Energy Harbor, live with power. A four-run ninth for Detroit. The Tigers' defense was superb today, and it ends up mattering as uh, they come back and they beat the Pirates today 5-3. to three. And we'll check the scores around baseball after this. But first, a 10-second break for network stations to identify themselves here on the Pirates Radio Network. Baseball is back. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. We'll check the big league scoreboard after this. 5-3 Detroit, the final this afternoon. Back after this on the Pirates Radio Network. 
the 2024 election on Sirius XM. The fight for our democracy. That's been the work of my first term. Thrilled to be back with thousands of proud American patriots. Where every voice matters. I'm as far left as you can get. This president has not complied with his oath. Left, right, center, decided, or undecided. We have to use our voices. We have to stand up for what we believe. The only place for every perspective and your voice about your vote on Sirius XM. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Eastern. It's the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 from Texas Motor Speedway on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90 in the car and on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM, XM app. Oh, Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. The Busted Open Podcast is now available on YouTube. This is Dave LaGreca, host of Busted Open, the number one pro wrestling show on the planet. You can now watch and listen to the award-winning Busted Open Podcast every single day on YouTube. Our best interviews, behind-the-scenes access, and some of our best content from the past. All available right now when you go to YouTube.com slash at Busted Open Podcast. Subscribe right now. March Madness is finally here. The most magical destination. For the best analysis. That team is going to be a tough out. And coverage of the ACC teams and the NCAA tournament. Tune in to Sirius XM ACC Radio. From the title contenders to the 